new at 5.30, a Linfield woman ready to share her stunning story. Her father confessed on his deathbed that he had lived a life on the run after robbing a bank decades ago. Ted Conrad told his family that he had avoided capture by the FBI by moving to Massachusetts and changing his name. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Paula Evans. And I'm David Wade. Chris is off tonight. Conrad's daughter says she never had any sign that her dad was an elusive criminal. But as WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us, she's slowly putting those pieces together. If these walls could talk, the story they could tell. For decades, it was a narrative unknown to almost everyone living inside. Almost everyone. My dad's a fugitive, and they're still looking for him. Ashley Randall grew up in Linfield. To her, her father, Thomas Randall, was a luxury car salesman. At one point, his face was on a TV commercial for the car dealership he worked at. What she didn't know was her father was a criminal on the run for nearly 50 years. From what we've learned, it does sound like it was premeditated. His real name is Ted Conrad. In the late 1960s, he was a vault teller for Society National Bank in Cleveland. That meant he had access to the vault. He walked in on a Friday, took $215,000 and walked out with the money in a bag and a bottle of alcohol. The company never took his fingerprints when he took the job. It wasn't that they missed fingerprinting him. It was that it was not a common practice the way it is now. Ted was a fan of the bank robbery film, The Thomas Crown Affair. U.S. Marshals say he watched it half a dozen times that year. Well, I don't have it. Yeah, what would you do if you did? Conrad moved to Linfield in 1970. He lived here in a home on Carter Road. Ironically, that's not terribly far from where the Thomas Crown Affair was filmed. When he showed up in Boston in 1970, he went to the local, I believe, just a registrar's office and got a social security card. From then on, he was Thomas Randall, two names from key Steve McQueen characters. February of 2021, they found out he had a really aggressive form of lung cancer, and then he passed away. May 18th. Before he died, he told Ashley and her mother his secret. He warned them, I had to change my name when I moved here. The authorities are still looking for me. Please don't ask why. Ashley demanded to hear his name. He was just this cool as a cucumber guy, and he looked scared when he said, my name is Ted. That night, she looked up his name, discovering articles of the bank heist. Yet law enforcement showed up on her doorstep in November of 2021. Thankfully, the first words out of his mouth were, you are not in trouble. <laughs> Now she is sharing her story in a podcast that launches today. In Linfield, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.